I'm asking you what you said. What you All say? right. I said it. I would love We're going live. Is this the right episode? Of course. 158. 158. It's the right Thank episode. You, I, just, I just did it. Thank you. Mm. All right, JDJ, we good to go over there? Good to go. Yes, sir. All right, PB and J. All right, sounds good. <laughs> All right, Austin, you good? I'm good. All right. Are you good? I'm good. Yeah, I fucking was really, I'm really good. I was born good. I am good. I'm Big Nick. I'm fucking good. Thanks for asking, buddy. It's great to hear. Thank you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to In the Pit, episode 158. If you're from the East Coast, Mid Coast, West Coast, This Coast, That Coast, Thanks for joining us today. We got some topics and a half. Make sure you buckle your seatbelt because this roller coaster might go upside down today. Upside oh. down. Upside down. You know, upside down. Why would we go upside down? You don't know. With what? you here, you never know. Don't we always go upside down? No. It's good. Why would we go upside down? I don't know. You just said we might. Go I'm just saying down. because you're here. Stranger things. Upside All right. down. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We had a new snack time. Uh, video come out last night. We got the office game video coming out tonight. Possibly. Possibly. 50 yeah. 50 on that. We will uh, keep you posted on that. Make sure you guys turn on your notifications that as soon as all of our videos do come out, that you get them as soon as they do so you can enjoy them. Because we're here for your pleasure and your enjoyment. So, uh, yeah, let's get the show on the road. Make sure, oh, wait, make sure you guys put down in the comments what you want us to talk about on the show. Yeah. And, uh, We'll get to some questions at the end. We'll get yeah. some, some Q&As at the end. Uh, we, right. we always respond to comments. Don't worry, guys. Always. I see everything that you guys post in there. You know, sometimes I choose not to respond to them. Usually I'll respond to them, though. So make them good questions. We'll respond to good questions. Good questions deserve great answers. Yes. Yes, they do. All right. Let's get into it here. We're starting off hot. Hey, Dante. Hey, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see Dante over there? I can't see him. Nope. Shit. I can't see him either. Yeah, I don't need. Cool. I mean, I can't. I can't even see John at this point. But that's all right. <laughs> yeah, look, we got. We have. A, if, I mean, you can't see on the camera, <laughs> but we have a laptop, a desktop computer monitor that's like a partridge uh, breaking us up from big ass monitor. Yeah, you can't. You can't see between us. <laughs> big you ass. You can see the corner of it right here, but yeah, this is a big ass monitor that we we're using. We got a border here. We got the media team, and then we got. The Misfit Toys. I'm over here with the Misfit Toys. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does it say about you then? Hey, oh. I said I'm with the Misfit Toys. Then what are you? Well, that makes you a Misfit Toy then. Yeah, I'm over here. What? I, I'm, so there's there's the media team, there's no. me, and then you're a Misfit Toy. Uh, media you're saying that I, they put me with the Misfit Toy because they feel bad for you because you got no one to celebrate Christmas with. <laughs> Christmas in April. Christmas. It's fucking April. It doesn't matter. Close enough. All right. Buy your mugs for Christmas, early Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> what is it, eight months? Eight months till Christmas now? Hey, you never know. Christmas in July. Well, you can guarantee it's going to get there in time if, you sh if it ships up now. <laughs> That's right. There you go. That's right. All right. I think Father's Day is coming before uh, Christmas. Is it? Yeah. You know what else is coming before then? Patriots Day. Speaking, I mean, it's, just, it's that's not a, a bad segue. That's a great segue. That's not a bad segue into one of our topics. It's not our first topic. Too bad it's not our next topic, all right? Nick, come on, wait, screw it up. How the fuck did I know what the topics are? I just, I know nothing. <laughs> well, do you I see know that? nothing. Oh. Did I see what? Never mind. Did Kim Kardashian. Kardashian. Oh, the fucking, the, the, the jerseys. Well, yeah. The hey. fucking jerseys. Right. Your shirt actually matches the color of them. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. yeah? You yeah. know what? It's, it's, it, uh, it, play, it was planned out that way, unplanned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one of the big criticisms yeah. on these jerseys, I mean, I don't know if the viewers at home have seen them. They are bright yellow jerseys, kind of similar, not too dissimilar from Big Nick's shirt over here. It's like a similar, like similar. similar shade. Yeah. And then it's got this blue text of Boston on mm -hmm. the middle uh, in like the white, lightish blue color. So it's supposed to be the colors of the Boston Marathon. For those who don't know, for those of them not for, um, from around the uh, Boston area, every third, fourth or third, Monday in, uh, in April is Patriots Day. Uh, something, like that. something like that. So every third or fourth Monday in April is Patriots Day, which is a Boston holiday. Are they having uh, the marathon this year? Uh, I think they're doing. I think they're doing it in October. Yeah, they're doing or like, November. Yeah, they're doing a um, a dip. No, I think they're doing it at the same time. Are they? I thought they were doing it later in the year. Let me look it look up. Look it up. Look it up. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, fucking look it up, Dante. Yeah, so they're doing the. <laughs> Yeah, so they're Monday, doing the October 11th. Oh, yeah, it's in October. Yeah. You're right. Hey, one year anniversary for you, fuck up. My buddy's running in it. <laughs> My oh, yeah. buddy's running in it. Gotcha. That's why. Gotcha. So, yeah, so these jerseys have no yet red in them. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Okay, so initially, 
I wasn't a fan. I didn't like the yellow. Obviously, it's much different than the red, navy, blue, white themed jerseys. I don't mind them now. I, I, the color is a little different, but I really like the text of Boston. I like the look of it. I like the theme, what it uh, resembles. Um, so, yeah, I have no issue with them. I think they're pretty cool. For the cause, I have, a, I have no problem with it. The way that they look, I just, it's too, it's too poppy for me. It's too, I think too they, bright. I think they look sick. I like them. You don't even know what color they are. <laughs> the fuck is Did you guys see the Did Twitter video they posted with it? The Twitter video? Uh, they're, Look, they're arguing. I'll wait till they're done arguing. <laughs> they're, they're a married nice, couple. Casey. Yeah, just Congratulations. They're, they're, they're sick. Thing. They're in their own Did you guys see the Twitter video that got posted with it? Like 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 to yeah. show the new jersey the and video. stuff? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're in their own world right now. I know. We can have our well, own conversation <laughs> while they're having their own conversation. I saw it. What? <laughs> what, are, what are you guys talking about? We're talking about I'm fucking about making fun of him. So what else is show? What are you talking about? Hey, what's wrong with them talking? We're talking too. We can't both talk at We're the same time. We're all on mic right now. It's a talk over. Not, not great for audio. No. Okay. Awful. Did you see the Terrible video? Terrible for audio. John, John was asking if you guys saw the, the hype video. Yeah, I was yeah. waiting for you guys yeah. to get done arguing. Video, <laughs> Someone no. said audio was crisp. Audio yeah. sounds nice. Audio is crisp. Audio That's good, good to know. Yeah. Um, crisp. Crisp like crispies. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> All I was going to say was, so they posted like that like hype video or whatever. And what's yeah. really cool about the, the video is in contrast with a lot of Boston players, they put a lot of Boston artists in the video. Um, they, these, uh, this producer duo called the Super Smash Brothers. They're from like Dorchester. Oh, yeah. Um, the first girl that pops up, her name is Jenny LaFlame. She's an artist from Boston. So I thought I, it, it's just cool that there's a lot of like small Boston artists that like I I, I think the 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 producer that made the song is from Boston. It might be the the Super Smash Brothers guys, but yeah, yeah, really cool to see like Boston artists like getting that recognition in that yeah. platform. Was uh, Dropkick Murphys also referenced in it? Had to been. Had to been. I think I think I think they were off that day. So <laughs> so we were talking. I was what? Talking, I was saying with my roommate, who's, who's a Boston native uh, from Braintree, and we we're talking about what would be a better design for the jerseys. Hear me out on this one. It's a green, like a green monster colored jersey with the text it is written in the, in the Boston is written the same text as the text on the green monster. Mm -hmm. So it looks like, and the, the little, like, um, like, you know how on, on the scoreboard, there's like the little squares where they put like Boston mm -hmm. and then put the scores. Mm -hmm. So there's a little square. So it looks, the jersey looks like a scoreboard almost. Hmm. And it looks like, like a green monster jersey. That's that's my suggestion. Get a design. For, for, design it. For the, uh, for the, because they're doing so. This is part of, so you know how Nike also makes, now makes the baseball jerseys. That's a two years ago. They're also making, uh, they also make the basketball jerseys. In basketball, they have the city edition jerseys. So they're starting to introduce city edition into baseball. And so this is the first one of seven. Not every team's getting them. Only seven teams this year are getting their city edition jerseys. Um, so Red Sox are the first one to announce it. I think the Cubs are also a team getting them. Um, I don't know which other teams. I'm, I'm sure the Yankees will get one. Um, but, yeah, so they're doing a full – Slate of teams. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we got the sick. Red Sox, the Marlins, the White Sox, the Cubs, the Diamondbacks, the Giants, and the Dodgers oh, the Giants. are all um, are all doing uh, City Edition jerseys this year. Mm. Why are the White Sox and Cubs both getting City Edition jerseys? Yankees are. Yankees are not. What are no. they? Um, what are they releasing the jerseys for? Everyone? So Marlins get released May 21st. White Sox June 5th. Cubs June 12th. Jeez. Diamondbacks June 18th. July oh, Gi on, Giants July 9th. And Dodgers I'll late August. I'll delete that Twitter search. I'll have to wait till July to see those. Yeah. Cool. So they're not they're taking their time to uh, release them. I'm sure next year they'll do a full drop of every team. Honestly, I feel like the Diamondbacks one are going to be sneaky fire. Yeah, Diamondbacks cool design. Diamondbacks are going to be sick. Yeah. I think the the Cubs Mar be Marlins, cool. Marlins might Marlins might be the lit color scheme. Fun. Yeah, I agree. Like yeah. if you think about like the 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 um, like the Miami Vice. Yeah, the Miami Vice ones. Color, yeah. yeah, that'd be sick. That would be very cool. Miami Vice. Great yeah. movie. Johnny, you know the reason why like those colors are why they're because that's the Boston Marathon. Yeah, that's the Boston show. Marathon flag. Yeah. Mm. Wait a minute, what? I'm a Isn't fan of them. No, not not today. We're, we're we don't tomorrow. We're gonna, we're gonna answer. Answer. I like them. They're fine. I have. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good point. Yeah, if you don't support Johnny, him. to your point about <laughs> making them a green monster, then that would defeat the whole purpose of the jerseys. Well, no, it's a city edition. It's like for no, the it's city. for of the Boston Marathon. Well, no, it's, 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 it's the, they did this version for for the Boston Marathon. Yeah. I'm saying what might look better is they did it for the green monster. They did a different so You can have two so different jerseys. Well, wait a minute. Don't they have green jerseys? Don't they use them every once in a while? They, yeah. they have the green jerseys that they use for, like, St. Patrick's Day um, in spring training and stuff like that. But, like, it's not the same color green. 
I'm thinking um You could have more than one different jersey. You yeah. can have a green monster and the Boston Marathon one. Yeah. Why can't we have both? Porque no los dos. Yeah, why not both? Come on. Well. All righty. All right, what do we got? We'll get into the topics here. So we got Kim Kardashian. Why, why are we talking about this fucking fake You want to know why? Because. She's officially a billionaire. I you thought she was a billionaire already. Yeah. She's officially a billionaire. Yeah. I thought this, I thought this happened a long time ago. Well, you thought she, wrong. Huh? <laughs> wow. <laughs> because, wow. you know what put her over the edge, Dante? Her what? ass. Her ass. Her divorce? Her, um, her, what's the name of it exactly here? Her shapewear company, Skim? Skims. Skims, For yeah. Shakewear? Shapewear. It's like, it's um, like uh, let's call it kind of like a Lululemon mix of, like, Victoria's it's like Secret leggings. kind of thing. It's like leggings. So are we talking stuff. about lingerie or are we talking like about gym wear? We're talking about both. It's like, it's more gym wear. It's more casual wear than anything. Dante, how much, but how much skims do I own? How many lingerie. skims do I own? How, mu how much skims stuff do you own? Enough, sure, enough, sure you for, enough for every day. I, I've nice. purchased yeah, nice three stuff. or four skims things. Yeah. One for you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys own shit no. from this company? <laughs> I don't no. own it. I bought you it. You just said. Wait, wait, wait. I don't own it. No shit, you don't fucking own it. You fucking own it. What the fuck you doing here? I feel like we're joking and he's being serious. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I bought it. I don't own it. Do you, you bought it for someone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, no, no. See, the way I took it is like he bought it for himself. Yes. Yeah. That's what it means. <laughs> so, yeah. No, I. I mean, they all thought it too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean. Hey, you know what? <laughs> what he said, he's like, yeah, I bought it. No, when a like, man wears wear. the comfort of his own home, I will not judge. Okay, no. Casey, if you want to wear your skims at home, we're walking around, want to show I mean, off your ass. But nice don't you tight. dare! I don't know what you're doing with Sia, right? Fucking, that's all your business, all right? <laughs> Jay Louise, mean? keep it's that shit PG. It's Jay like Louise. Pajamas. It's like fucking pajamas. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. What do you mean? They're I'll, like you, skin tight. You, you can't wanna, sleep you in You want to see? It's literally like like fuzzy. All right, bring this crap up, would you please? All right, so Kim Kardashian's a billionaire. All right, she congratulations, sells, you're a billionaire. She Fuck sells you. leggings. She got divorced from Kanye West, and she's a and she's a big bitch. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, Whoa. he's not wrong. Whoa. He's not wrong. She's a, what? She's a bitch. She is what? a bitch. I, she's what? a bitch. So what? I mean, listen. She's a bitch. Is what? Is that not pajamas? She's a bitch. <laughs> what do you I mean, oh, literally, there's got to be more fucking what? C4 in that ass than there is in fucking Russia. <laughs> I, I I don't, are those not I'm pajamas? All, I'm Team Kanye, man. Fuck <laughs> Kim Kardashian. They, they do look comfy. comfy. <laughs> they look comfy. Hey, you say it's cozy. It's literally called the cozy collection. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Maybe I mean, John. I, I maybe just, John. I, just just I mean, I, God forbid she ever hit, her, hit the car door with that ass when it just popped. Like a, <laughs> boom, like a balloon. Are you putting a needle to a balloon? <laughs> what do you What do you call? All right, loungewear, whatever you want to call it. Pajamas, loungewear, whatever. They're called skims. Have you bought some for Sally? Yeah, that's why I fucking. Yeah. <laughs> what you're saying? Well, that's what you originally. How does Sally like I bought some. Like, how, how does I bought some. I said I bought some, but I don't own it. <laughs> She's a bitch. Stop. Uh -huh. She's a bitch. Right. How how does She's Sally a bitch. like it? She loves it. Yeah. Does yeah. she? Yeah. 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 Who loves it more? You or Sally? Mmm. Ooh. Ooh. I mean. Ooh. I mean. Hey. 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 Boyfriend of the year over here, you did that for yourself. <laughs> what? It's like pajamas, it's not fucking laundry. You love the way she looks in them. <laughs> I guarantee it. All right, to look, break I down how it. Kim K is a billionaire. <laughs> so she saw back in 2017 or 2018, she sold 20% of her beauty company, KKW, for 200 mil, and the remaining 72% is worth about 500 mil. And then she owns a majority stake in Skims, which is estimated to be worth north of 500k, and her stake being 225k. Let me guess, sponsorships with Addison Ray. Fuck <laughs> <Yeah, laughs> her too. Why is Addison, oh, Addison Ray getting like super involved with the Kardashians now? I, she's best friends with what, Courtney or something like that? Yeah, I, I, I don't understand, understand how this bitch is even yeah. fucking viral. I don't even understand she it. She is. She's literally just. Number one, she's not even that good looking. Okay, she's really not. Number two, she, her dance moves are ass at best. <laughs> at best. They're TikTok dance moves. Uh, did, you her, did you see her on Jimmy Fallon last week? Yeah, Ridiculous. I didn't watch yeah. it, but I saw she got a lot of backlash. Yeah, I mean, first of all, she was doing, it was the most boring segment I've ever seen. It was just her doing TikTok dance on Fallon. Like, that's was so boring. No, that was weird. It was so weird. I don't. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it would have been better if, like, she was actually teaching him the dances, but he was just, like, holding signs up. Yeah, he was just he yeah, was holding the finger a supporter. Woo! Go ahead. That's Jimmy Fallon for you. Yeah. Not not a Fallon fan. 
Not a mm. Fallon fan? Not a he, Fallon he fan. I'm not a Fallon pitch. fan. I think oh, yeah. great Fever Pitch. Oh, I like yeah. Jimmy Fallon. Oh, yeah. Great I mean, movie. Fever Pitch, Fever Pitch, fantastic. He's one, he, And he's also in Taxi with uh, Queen Latifah. Yes. Great. Oh, yeah. But that's about it for his latest. <laughs> 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 Can you slow? Are you freaking driving or what's going on here? Oh, that's yeah. funny. Great but, uh, movie. How to drive. Turn the wheel. <laughs> Yeah, but that's about it for Jimmy Fallon's movie movie career. I mean, I love Fever Pitch. Hey, he was great. SNL. Fever Pitch, Fever Pitch great. top three baseball movie for me. Is it? I'd wow. say so. Respect wow. I'm not even a Sox fan. Wow. I just love that movie so much. Because I think that's the only movie that really captures like what it's like to be a baseball fan. Like, it really gets the fandom right of being a baseball fan. The irrationality of it. Like, the kind of, like, um, you know, and it's a cute, it's a, in the rom-com setting, but I think it's still very... It works as its own, like as a baseball movie. And, I mean, do you know the story behind Fever Pitch? There's a lot of things behind it. Yeah, the Red Sox won the World Series. I mean, no, yeah, I the other like story. the production of it, the making of it. Yeah. So. Yep. Do you do you know this, Nick? No, I don't. Please yeah. explain to me. So it's interesting. So when they were writing the movie, when they were making production of the movie, they didn't know the Red Sox were going to win. So the mo- the original movie, the original Fever Pitch, is actually it's a, a book about soccer. Because pitch, pitch like a soccer pitch. Yeah, soccer pitch. So that was Fever Pitch. And they adapted it for American audiences and made it about baseball, made it about the Red Sox. Hmm. And they were filming in the 04 season, but they didn't know that the Red Sox were going to win when they were even started production on it. So um, they had to change the plot a little bit around for it. And you know the scene at the end of the movie when they're on the field celebrating with the Red Sox? Yeah. Like, you can see Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore if you watch the game footage, you can see them like with the Red Sox celebrating. In the top left corner, you can see Jimmy Fallon and Drew Barrymore cheering on with the Red Sox when the Red Sox are celebrating a game for the World Series. Yeah, they're Series. on the field. They're on the wow. field with them. That's cool. Yeah. That's so a cool. little little bit of movie movie Media. history there, movie trivia. Yeah. Uh, about the making of Fever Pitch. Movie trivia. The yeah. Making yeah. a Fever Pitch. Yep. That's awesome. What All would right. you say is your favorite baseball movies? Oh, I gotta go. Fill the Dreams, classic. Classic. It's the Sandlot for me. I, I can think of a handful of them, but Sandlot always ends up being my number one. It's just such a classic. I mean, such a classic. can't go wrong with the rookie either. Rookie's, rookie's, rookie's great. Good Kevin one. Costner. Oh, That's like Angels, Angels in the Outfield. Angels in the Outfield is an absolute classic. Yeah. Phenomenal uh, movie. Uh, McConaughey. McConaughey. Rosengardner. In which one? Angels in the Outfield. That's not McConaughey. McConaughey was in Angels in the Outfield. Angels in the Matthew McConaughey is not Angels in the Outfield. He's, uh, yeah, he's he the is. left fielder. Is he? Is he really? No, 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 no. no. You think? No, maybe he. He is in it. Are you sure? Is he? I'm yeah, looking it up yeah, right now. I bet you now. everything in my bank account. He was in. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Article, so, no, he was the outfielder. Was he was in the outfield? In the outfield, yeah. He was in the outfield. Yeah. He, yeah, he was in the outfield. We bet yeah. you never realized this A-lister Bitch. was in Angels in the Outfield. <laughs> yeah, I know. Joseph, I know it's Danny Glover, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Christopher Lloyd. But, yeah, apparently Matthew McConaughey is in Angels in the yeah, Outfield. Right, sure. Oh, yeah, there he is. Wow. Yeah. There he is, young Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, five minutes ago. Wow. wow. I mean, I guess, Casey, Casey, that book's coming in handy right now. Yep. Wow. Perks <laughs> of reading two pages a day. Uh-huh. Where'd you get, did you get to that last night? <laughs> no, that was uh, I read that in Florida. Oh, yeah. nice, nice. He read that drinking tea on a page Did, did he talk about it? Was yeah, there a chapter? Went, I think he went from, like, dazed and confused to Angels in the Outfield. He was That's only a step in, uh, down yeah. for him. They said he only, in the article, it said there were only two movies that he was in prior to that. Oh, so he probably did that before Dazed and Confused. No. No? Dazed and Confused was his first movie. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Failure to launch is, I this think, This guy is a Matthew McConaughey expert right yes, now. Yes, Johnny, I would not go yeah. against Don't Best part me. about high school <laughs> girls? <laughs> Casey, best part about high school girls? All right, all right, all right. If we get older, they <laughs> stay younger. Same age. They stay longer. I get older, I get older. They stay the same age. They stay the same age. All right, all right. Wait, so did Kevin Hart steal that line from Matthew McConaughey? What? All right, all right, all right. All right. He's quoting him? Yeah. Okay. I mean, there's also what Denzel's... What are you going to do about if you stole the line, Casey? Fuck, fuck Casey's that offended. Guy. Right, fuck I was... that guy, fuck Kevin Hart. Yeah. Casey never gave your uh, your favorite baseball movie. Angels in the Outfield. Angels in the Outfield. Yeah. Right, I'm going with... because it's got Matt McConaughey in it. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I'm going with Bull Durham, hands down. Okay. By far the best baseball movie. Okay. Then it's Major League. Big Mike, what are you going Major with? Major League's up there. Major League. Yeah, absolutely. Major League? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's my second. I fucking love that movie. Jabo. I was... Uh, we were talking about bats for hats this weekend. Bats for hats for bats. I mean, hats for bats. Hats for bats. Hats for bats. Mm-hmm. 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 
You have no marbles. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's from two. That's from Major League Two. Yeah, that's, yeah. One. that's the second one. You have no marbles. <laughs> but I got you an outfielder from the Giants. San Francisco? Oh. San Francisco? Mm, mm. Not those Giants. Tokyo. Have you guys seen Summer Catch? Yes. Ah. Me and Big Nick were just talking about 42 is a great movie. Summer Catch is a classic. Yeah. Just yeah. Timberlake, 42 just is a great Jessica movie. Biel. I have my oh, problems yeah. with 42. I don't think it did a good job portraying... Actually, I, I, Chadwick Boseman did a great job in 42, but I think the writing of it was a little bit like didn't. It made him seem like, like when he came from California to go to play baseball, that Jackie Robinson had never experienced racism until that moment in his life. Oh, 42 is a good movie too. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think they mischaracterized Jackie a little bit in the movie. Johnny. Also, have you ever heard Jackie Robinson's voice? He has a very high pitched voice. Not, not doesn't sound anything like Chadwick Boseman. <laughs> Johnny, I'd like to officially change my pick. Yes. Whoa. It's a summer catch. Summer catch? Wow. Yeah. How much fun is that? That's um, It's an emotional pick, but Isn't that isn't that with um because of Jasmine, it? Yep, and because I Yeah, isn't that with um, the um what's his name? Summer. Oh my god. What's Jessica that? Beale and um, Justin Timberlake. No, isn't Justin Timberlake. What? No, it's not Justin. It's not Justin Kim. It's um it's um oh my god. Ryan No, 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 no. It's um Freddie Prince Jr. There we go. I couldn't remember the name. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. No. Scooby Doo, Shaggy. Scooby-Doo-Doo. Not Shaggy, I mean Fred. He's Fred. It's my bad. No, Shaggy. it's Ryan Dunn. <laughs> no, it's Freddie Prince Jr. Well, that's the that's the <laughs> that's the he yeah that's the name of the character character. But it's Freddie. Oh, Prince I'm Brittany Dunn. Murphy. No, his name's Ryan Dunn. Is Major League Three a good movie? I've never seen Major League Three. Is the third good. one? Uh, the third one. Bad News Bears is good. Bad News Bears. That's is a good one too. What's the movie? What's Sneaky. the movie with the guy? Napoleon Dynamite. Bench Warmers. Bench Warmers. Yes. Yeah, Johnny, Johnny, I'm changing my pick. <laughs> that Bench movie's Bench fucking bombing macaroni. Yeah. Sitting in the yeah. outfield, picking. Hey, what about what about picking flowers? What about Little Big League? Little Big League. That's a good one. I mean, I'm not putting. I'm not putting any of these movies ahead. Bull Durham. I wouldn't Bull put Durham. Bench Warmers ahead of Sandlot, but it's funny as fuck. That movie's hilarious. I haven't seen that. Yeah, yeah. Trouble with the Curve. That's another good baseball movie, by the way. That's uh, um, <laughs> God. <laughs> What's his name? Blanking out who directed that. I know who did it. Grant Torino. Yeah. Um, oh, that was Clint Eastwood. Grant Torino. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How the Grant fuck Torino. do you guys remember Grant Torino is the fucking movie. Yeah. I just blanked on the name Clint Eastwood. Good, bad, ugly. How the fuck Legend. do you guys remember all these Legend. things? <laughs> it, I have very little available brain space for anything else. So, like, just that's... I just remember actors and movies and stuff like that. And, and then stuff. just everything else, like the name of my parents, Washington. <laughs> <in my brain. laughs> Birthdays. Birthdays. Parents. Anniversaries. Back of my mind. All this we stuff. We know these names better than our own grandmothers. <laughs> that's a joke for Dave. All right, watching. all right, all right. Um, all right. Okay, next topic. Next topic. Next topic. All right. The Chiefs propose a rule change allowing the skill position players to wear single-digit numbers. What? what do you guys think about this? I love this? it. I didn't think love this. Love it. I I actually didn't know this was like an actual rule. Yeah. Yeah, me too. What the hell is the big deal about this? So, so like, right now in the NFL, uh, they have very strict jersey number rules. So, like, quarterbacks can only wear numbers 1 through 19. Running backs and wide receivers and tight ends can only wear one. They can't, they can't wear one, but they can wear – so running backs can wear 20 through um, – 20 through no, it's a it's um 20 through 29 and then oh no it's 20 through 49 you're right 20 through 49, wide receivers can only wear uh, 10s and 80s, tight ends can only wear 40s and 80s. So they have very strict rules about what number you can wear. And I think it, I think it dates back to like early days of football because if you know rugby, uh, rugby, uh, rugby, they what jersey number you wear is the position you play. So if you wear number seven, you're a specific position. And so I think football in the early days is kind of in, in the NFL is very similar to that. Then college, they let position players wear single digits. Like Odell in college wore number three. Um, like a lot of like Todd Gurley wore number one in college. And I, I think it looks cooler. I think, you know, we were doing the Goat by Number series. You know, you get to a certain point, like, oh, the 90s, oh, that's going to be linebackers. Or like, oh, wide rec- like 80s is all, only wide receivers. I think this makes it cool. It makes it a little bit more, a little different, give them more. Variety into the game. Yeah, I think there shouldn't be a limit on the numbers you wear. If you want to wear a number, wear the damn number. If you're an offensive lineman and number two's available, you should be able to wear number two. Who cares? Yeah. That'd be wild, though. A number's yeah. a number. That'd be crazy seeing an offensive lineman wear number two. Yeah, I mean, I want Chase Young to wear number one. I mean, that's what he wore in college. Yeah. Could yeah. you imagine Chase Young number one What's just number, coming? What, what do you guys think about now? this? Just like they do in the longest yard, what do you think about letting players wear triple digits? Um, fucking. Triple digits? No, letters, letters, letters. Oh, um, 
Like X. I mean, what is this? The I XFL? Put a, I put a big W on my oh, big dub. That would be sick. What do you think? No. I, yeah, does letters Brian, are lame. No. Does Bryant would definitely. Put I up. think. I mean, you could do what they did, like early XFL when they did. Uh, you can put whatever name you want on your jersey. Fuck he yeah. hate me. Fuck that'd yeah. be cool. Yes. Like you know, um, with the um, the uh, players' weekend jerseys that they do uh, in baseball, where you can put any nickname you want on your jersey. Oh yeah, that'd be dope. Do that for a little yeah. bit to nickname jerseys. I'm in for that. You're in for that. Nickname yeah. jerseys are awesome. Yeah. I wish they brought those back. He hate me. Yeah, they, uh, Jesus Shuttlesworth, Ray Allen was. That was big ticket. Awesome. Good movie. Right, that's KG. That was one of the schools on the back of his jersey. When they were, they were big ticket. Really? Yeah. yeah. Big ticket. Yeah. Nickname yeah, jerseys. Nickname. Uh, Nick, what that. would your nickname be? If you, what, really? what nickname would you put on your jersey? Uh, what? Dude, I got to stick with Big Nick here. You just put Big that's Nick? Pretty, that's a pretty good one, yeah. Casey, what name would you put on your jersey for a nickname? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ostrich. Back in like. Sixth grade, I really wanted to be a rapper. Oh so, no! Um, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Oh, still can, we all guess, wait can we can all we, guess what Casey's rapper name is? No, would no, be? no. Are there any recordings still around of your there, rapper? So, funny no. story. So, my babysitter was also my cousin and my neighbor. They actually did, did like, I wouldn't say dumb. <laughs> <laughs> my babysitter was my what? cousin and my neighbor. They actually did like. Um, for her school yeah, project, her. they had to interview how music affects the youth, and they like interviewed me, and I had like my gold, fake gold, oh, like, no. and, uh, like this uh, like Casey. gold like hat on. I have a picture that I can show you guys. Yes, right? yes please. please. But um, anyways, so, so don't listen to rap, or you'll turn out like so this. Shout out, <laughs> so shout out to my cousin. She came up with the name lowercase. Lowercase. Oh, yeah. Lowercase. Lowercase. Yeah. Oh, that is my Twitter name, yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's what? Kinda hard. But kind of because I was a big Lil John fan. So, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Lil yeah. John. Get it because, like, my name's Casey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we get it. yeah. yeah. Casey. I got so, that part. Yeah. Did you ever Did you ever write, write any raps? Oh, yeah. A Can lot. you drop some bars real quick? Right now? Right now. Ooh. I'll drop a beat. I don't know if I could right now. You don't remember oh. I can't. <laughs> Do you have any recordings on them anywhere? I'm. So to be fair, why I am where I am right what? now is because I'm not great at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, what are you I, talking I just about? was like, I really like the lifestyle. Like, <laughs> oh really? Smoke weed and get bitches on my lap? No fucking shit. That's your lifestyle. Well, <laughs> no one said anything about smoking weed. All right. All right. Get out of here. Just said you like the wife's lifestyle. All right. Come on. You ever yeah. heard of fucking you know, Pete Smalls? Give us some more weed and get us some females. Tell them we're having a party. That's you. Oh. <laughs> a party. <laughs> All righty. All right, so what are so the nicknames for our Yeah, nickname jerseys? for jerseys. What nickname would you put on that? I didn't know KG. His tick nickname was Big, Big Ticket. Ticket? Yeah, that's like a very did famous. did you know that? You call yourself a Boston fan? I've never. I bet you Brady had a nickname. You'd know what his nickname was. Yeah, the GOAT. Or, uh, or Tom game. Terrific. Tommy terrific. terrific. And that it's actually Papa is, Bay. That is Tom, Tom Seaver's nickname, but Tom Brady tried to trademark Tom Terrific. And Tom Seaver was like, no. Really? Oh, yeah. Shit. All right. My nickname, it would definitely be Swag King. So, oh, of course. I mean, it has to be. What Swag else, King. What else would it be? Yeah, I mean. How about you? It was gifted. It was gifted. It was, yeah, it was gift wrapped and everything. I'd, I'd probably go with lowercase. Lowercase? That's yeah, a good I'd one. I'd probably go with lowercase. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Yeah, I don't think anyone's done that one before. It's good, yeah, good choice. Like Great thinking. <laughs> Genius. Um, what would I go with? I don't even know what I'd go with. My Instagram by hand handle is the Johnny Unchained. The Johnny so Unchained. anyone want to follow me on Instagram, the Johnny Unchained, is a little self plug right there. Um, but plug. it's a good plug. Go follow me on Instagram. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a good one. Uh, I don't really have a good one. Probably the Johnny Unchained. Johnny Unchained. I like Maybe just Unchained. Unchained. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll do Unchained. He's Unchained. I'm Unchained. You can't or irrational. Get it? Irrational? No. My last oh, name. Oh, rap. Ah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I see it. I see it. That's my Twitter right. handle. Okay. Yeah. All right. All my Twitter right. handle is Detoro Swag. Dante? Yeah. Yeah. How are you doing over there? I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing good, Casey. How are you All doing? All right. What's going on with the documentary world? We got Kanye. Oh, what? Yeah. This That's is wild. Easy. $30 million. Yeah. It got sold to Netflix. The Kanye West 
so this documentary took 20 years to make, what? and they're and they're sell, they're selling it to Netflix for 30 mil. 20 years. Yeah. 21, 21 years in the making. I think. I mean. I think it's gonna be a mix of like everything in his life. So I, I, remember, I put it on Instagram, and people were commenting like, "I hope it's not about like his political stuff, like his failures trying to run no. friends." No, it'll no. be about like his life story, <laughs> shit that he's gone through over the years, yeah. like, and killing his mom. And ki- what? what, what? what? Oh! Oh! I mean, do you know the story about this? She got plastic surgery, and then she died during an operation. Right? Yeah. yeah. So, but Kanye, so he blames himself for killing his mom because. Like, he paid for the plastic surgery. She always wanted this plastic surgery. He paid for it for oh, her. Oh, I remember this yeah. story. His though. mom passing has been a big part thing of his life. It's like mental. That's yeah. the reason yeah. why, yeah. That's why yeah. a lot of people. I mean, 808, yeah. you can tell from, from one year to the next, from, um, I mean, this is a song Heartbreak, the full, yeah. the, I mean, all of 808s is just like his fucking reel in. And him going, mama. Dear Mom. I mean, that's beforehand. He wrote that. What album was that? That's a uh, um, uh, uh, late registration. Okay. But he had the hook for it in College Dropout, actually. It's in one of the earlier songs. Um, but yeah, Dear Mama, Hey Mama, Dear Mama Hey, hey Mama. Mama. Yeah. Dear Mama oh, oh, he had the song Only Dear, One yeah. with uh, Paul McCartney. Uh, four or five seconds. No, no, no Only One. That's, only that one. was written yeah. later, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was about his daughter. Was that about his daughter? Yeah. No. You, I was actually singing that this morning. I, yeah, only, only One. one. Mm-hmm. The manly son. The son. And <laughs> what are you guys singing over there? <laughs> only One by uh, Kanye, Kanye West and Paul McCartney. Uh, that, hey, song that flew hey, under the radar. Hey, it's a I good like, song. I like song. four or five seconds. That's a good That's one. Of my, that is one of my all-time favorite songs. Yeah. Yeah. Four, four or five, five seconds. Four or five so. seconds from wildin'. <laughs> when uh, Kanye was uh, trying to be president, he had to file, uh, you have to file your presidency. Mm-hmm. Um, to like in order to be on the ballot for certain states and you have to do it at a certain time and for one state I don't remember which one he was like like 30 minutes late filing it like he filed it just too late to miss a cutoff and there was a fantastic seat tweet that said it looks like Kanye was four or five seconds from, from, uh, file, from filing five, four, five, five seconds, seconds from filing <laughs> yeah great tweet. I love it great tweet that was a great tweet anyway, anyway so you I'm guys interested in it I, I'll watch it for sure I think he's a very interesting man I guess he got a very interesting story, and I'm sure it'll be a very interesting documentary. Yeah, so. I mean, it sounds like they have a lot of footage. This is 20 a lot of unseen footage. Yeah, I think I mean, I'm that, that's before College Dropout came out. Yeah, right? 21 so years. Like, I mean, probably making, when he was producing JD, yeah. is it? Yeah, 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 yeah right. stuff like Maybe that. Maybe stuff when he got the X. Yeah, a lot of yeah. yeah, a lot of home videos. I'm sure. I'm hyped. That's dope. I'm hyped. That'll be a good. I think that'll be really. Cool. That'll be a good one. Yeah. Have you ever got, did you ever watch him when he was on Joe Rogan? The Joe Rogan no, podcast? I, I watched a little bit. It, of it. was crazy. It's just that, they got into some shit, and Kanye West. Did. You ever watch his. Um, He's been through some stuff. His TMZ rant. I've seen that a few times, <laughs> yeah. You have to free yourself, <laughs> brother. You have to free yourself. Just screaming he's, at the TMZ offices. Yeah, he's a. He's a he's little something. bit of a psychopath. He's something, yeah. A little? But, a little bit, just a tiny bit. Yeezy but, taught me. Yeezy taught me. <laughs> That's some Circus Olay shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then what's the other documentary? We got uh, Paul Wait. Gasol. Yeah, pa- do you see this? Paul Gasol is getting a four-part Powers documentary series. Yeah, yeah, you know, I'll pass. I, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, sure I, like, I'm not watching I, I, I think the guy's cool and everything. I don't have how do you say that? Paul Gasol, but I, 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 I don't need to watch this one. What? I think I can skip over this documentary. Paul Gasol. Paul. 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 P-A-U. Paul. 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 Oh, it's Paul. Wait, pow. 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 Spanish. Pow. 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 Yeah. All right. I mean, I don't know how you make. I mean, I don't know too much about Pow Gasol's life and like him coming over from Spain and whatever that took. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it's interesting. I'll watch the Kanye one. All right. Yeah, I'll watch the Kanye one. Cool. All right, before we get into Johnny's MLB update here, we got Dante. What's going on with Isaiah Thomas? Isaiah Thomas made He's his back. return last night. Hadn't played since February 2020. Um, you know, has been on and off some teams over the last few years. After he got traded from Boston, he had a hip injury, and he's just kind of been bouncing around. He had surgery uh, okay. like half a year ago, almost a year ago, to fix his hip. And she says he's 102%. Got picked up by the Pelicans uh, less than a week ago. 10-day, right? 10-day contract, yep. He had 10 points last night mm-hmm. uh, in 25 minutes. He had eight points in the first, like, three minutes of the game uh, that he subbed in. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for him. I, I, I'm a huge – he's one of my favorite athletes of all time. I 
I mean, he was just awesome when he was in Boston. He was um, just the heart and soul of the Celtics when he was there. And when he had that playoff run where he uh, his sister passed away, and then he played the next night, and then um, that place erupted. That and that place, yeah, that Black was Blackhead Band, an insane series. And then he played the Wizards the next round, got his tooth knocked out, had dental surgery the dislocated next day, dislocated his hip, dislocated his hip, and kept playing through it. Um, you know, the the guy is a legend in my eyes in Boston. He was only here for two and a half years, but he was just made such a big impact. Oh, yeah. And I'm happy for him. He's a great guy, great player. So I hope you had just... to make that trade though for Kyrie. Oh, I mean, listen, you had to make listen, Nick. I mean, if you go back in time and that's presented steal. to you, you got to do it ten times out of ten. It was an absolute steal. You got to do. It. I mean, I love Isaiah Tom. I still have his jersey hanging up on my wall. I, I, he's literally one of my favorite athletes. But, I mean, he was injured. You got Kyrie Irving in return. Obviously, what happened game. happened after that. But like talent wise, you, you had to have made the move. You do that ten times out of ten. Yeah. But I hope. Nothing but the best for Isaiah Thomas. Yep. Cool. Cool. All right, Johnny. Yeah. Juan Soto. Yeah, how about the uh, – so Nats finally played yesterday. You guys uh, catch any of the game? I doubt you did. You but, did. Oh, I watched the whole thing. Oh, I got yeah. Home, I got home 4.05, turned on the TV, didn't move from my couch. Let's go. Yeah. But uh, got to see Max Scherzer looked a little shaky to start the game. Uh, fastball looked a little flat. He found his – he found himself – about three innings yeah, in, so. but he gave up four home runs. Acuna Jr., two home runs uh, against. He's a, he's a stud. Did you know that the Nats actually almost had Acuna Jr.? They almost. Oh, really? So, the Nats have this um, scouting director, Johnny De La Puglia, who, um, who signed both Juan Soto and Victor Robles. And in that same stretch of signing those two guys, he, they had a, a handshake agreement to sign Ronald Acuna Jr. as well. And eventually it fell through. I guess the money didn't. I think the money didn't come through or something. And Acuna ended up signing with the Braves. But the Nats had a handshake agreement with Ronald Acuna, and you could have had a Nationals outfield of Victor Robles, Juan Soto, and Ronald Acuna Jr. You guys would have been disgusting. It would have been insane. But yeah, so such is life. Such is life. We still have Juan Soto. I'm chilling with that. Um, still want a ring. Still want a ring. You know, got that got that jewelry. Juan Soto. Came up yesterday, tie game in the ninth inning, 5-5 game, runs on first and second, no out, Will Smith on the mound, 3-0, fastball down the middle, Soto does not miss, rips it to center field, 115 miles an hour off the bat, absolutely crushes it, game-winning walk-off single. Wow. Boom. 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 Gotta love it. What, that was the World Series? Uh, yeah, 2019, I don't know if you heard about this. Uh, yeah, and 2019 too, yeah. I don't know if you know, but Juan Soto um, had a... Uh, how are the Red Sox doing this year? I was an one oh, baby, go one zero every day. Yeah. Undefeated. Thank you. <laughs> Undefeated. Undefeated. But I mean, speaking of the Red Sox, they also had a walk off yesterday. They did. JD. JD. JD hit a I'm walk. I'm with you, Mike. Fuck the Red Sox. I mean, listen, they could sweep the Rays today. Woo! Take oh my gosh, the Rays. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, that shit was hilarious. What was Tom, that? Tom Brady went to Disneyland yesterday. What? He tweeted, he goes, uh, yeah. he goes, World. yeah, he goes, I'm still playing just to get the free trips at this point. Uh, <laughs> That's why I'm still playing. Yeah. But yeah, J.D. Martinez has a walk-off double. Uh, big win for the Sox last night. They needed that one. And then there's this new there's this guy I want to talk about today. His name's Akil Badu. I saw this. Uh, this so sick. He's sick. So yesterday, he came in to pinch run, and they en- en- came in as a pinch hitter, too. And he hit a walk-off single in the 10th inning. He's a rookie for the Tigers. Um, he was a Rule 5 draft pick, so the Tigers got him this offseason in the Rule 5 draft. What does that mean? Uh, so the Rule 5 draft is when uh, every year you have to, if a player's played a certain number of years for a team yep. at a certain level, like if you're on AAA yep. and you're not put on the team's 40-man roster, you will become available to be entered into this Rule 5 draft, which is a, a, where, um, where you draft players – like, so there's three rounds of the Rule 5 draft. The first round is the teams have options to draft players from teams AAA or Major League level. And so these are usually, like, guys who are not great, who don't the teams don't feel like they need to protect. Okay. But sometimes it's guys who are, like, could be good and, like, just haven't gotten their shot yet. And the only stipulation is you can keep the player in the first round as long as they're on your Major League roster for the whole season. 
So, like, if a guy, you're drafting AAA players pretty much, and if a guy sucks and you want to set him down, then you have to return him to the original team. Okay. It's confusing. Okay, it's okay. weird. No, I don't know why they do it. Okay. They just do it. So, Kiel Badu was the Tigers' Rule 5 draft pick this year. Not a his bad, first, not first a bad three pick. games in the majors on Sunday, hit a home run in his first pitch of his first at-bat in his career. That's sick. Monday, hits a grand slam. Tuesday, hits a walk-off single. Whoa. Pretty good. Uh, not a bad start. Pretty good start to the career. Not a bad start. Get a buck 69 the rest of the season. Yeah, I picked him on my fantasy team. Let's see what happens. I killed Badoo. First of all, love the name. He's a DC native. He's, oh, he's from my area. Actually. He's from Silver Spring, Maryland. Uh, which That's is like just a, an emotional pick. I mean, <laughs> a little bit. I mean, I love a local guy. Like ba- DC area, we don't have many guys come out for baseball. Basketball, we have some guys. Baseball, not really. So whenever there's like a you guys local got guy, plenty of politicians. Uh, my politicians come from. We have politicians who live there, but politicians come from wherever. Uh, but we don't have any athletes who come from the DC area. That's not true. We have a lot of athletes come from the D.C. area, not a lot of baseball players. So I always got a root for the hometown guys. Akil Badu, big fan of you. you. Made a rhyme. Do it every time. And that's it. <laughs> nah, you're spitting bars. You're spitting you should, bars. Maybe, you're the maybe one. I should be lowercase. Yeah. Yo, guys, can you call me lowercase from now on? <laughs> <laughs> that's a great nickname. Lower J. Lower is, that, J. is that all for Johnny's MLB update? That's it for the MLB update. Oh, yeah. What about uh, Fernando Tatis? Oh, yeah. Fernando Ten Tatis. He, they, put, they put Tatis on the I.L., with a dislocated shoulder. I was reading. They the were talking like he was going to be yeah. on the whole season. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I mean, reading. They, they thought he might have been. I'm reading the tweet of they were giving the update about him, and they were talking about, yeah, tore something, shoulder, separated, and they go, yeah, he'll be gone for like 10 days. Well, they I'm put like, him on the oh. 10 day IL. And they can extend they, it. They can put it, him back on it. But they, they said he got really lucky. They, they were worried he might have broken a, a bone in his shoulder, oh, was... completely torn something, needed surgery to fix it. Turns out he didn't. I mean, AJ was right. AJ was right when he heard the uh, the sub sub whatever the fuck it is subluxation sub, subluxion yeah subluxion. whatever <laughs> subluxion <laughs> subluxion. I mean, K- AJ was right. He knew what it was. So yeah, I mean, thank God. I'm so happy that he's not gonna miss the season or miss a big portal. That would have been, 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 been brutal. That would have been brutal. So he'll be back soon. Good, good, good. Yeah, good, good. They'll take their sweet time with him too. Yeah, I mean, even no, if he's out a month, it doesn't. It's matter. No long, need to rush. It's a long season. Got 160 Get games right early, too. Yeah. Awesome. All right, cool. So before we do a couple questions real quick, we got a couple other topics. Um, actually, not a funny topic, but DMX, you guys see, had a heart attack. Yeah. It's fucked. Wait, did you say yeah, talked about it on Monday? Yeah. Damn. Is yeah, there any DMX. updates on it? Well, he's on life support. Yeah. He is really? not looking good. He looks he looks like looking good. Fuck. I think the last thing that I saw was that he, he's still in a vegetative state and oh. in a coma. Yeah, he, his kids are there, um, and they were having, like, prayer vigils and stuff. I mean, listen, wow. I don't want to be that guy, but the guy didn't have any oxygen flowing to his brain for 30 minutes. It takes 10 minutes for you to get permanent brain damage. Fuck. If the guy gets out of it, which obviously I, I hope he does, he is not – he, he's yeah. going to be in a vegetative state the rest of his life, and that's brutal, but that's just the truth. Yeah. It's awful. It's, sad. it's awful, but Word. that's just that's how it is. All right. That's all I got, Johnny. All got right. So we got, some, we got some viewer questions today. All right. Let's answer some we got questions. some things in the comments. First of all, thanks for all the shouts, but the cameras and the audio sounding good. Appreciate we're it. We're working really hard on getting this. Audio th- sounds good. Audio sounds great, apparently. Nice, guys. So we're working real hard to get this you know, up and going for you guys, so appreciate mm-hmm. all the, the love. Appreciate all the patience in the past couple days. Uh, we're getting there. We're working on getting in the pit, uh, up and everything within the pit, and not just in the pit, just everywhere. Mm-hmm. So you, hopefully you guys will see some better production quality on all of our videos coming soon and already happening. So thanks for everyone for that. Um, Tyler asked, Tyler Johnson asked, Big Nick, did you shave today? I shaved last night. Last night, all right. <laughs> well, we, we're noticing. I mean, look at the clean cut right there. Take, take a look at the camera right there. Look at your camera. Oh, look at that. Nice wow. and clean Come cut. On. Looking good. Yeah. Come on. Me, likes a clean shave, so yeah, I got to yeah, There you go. There you I go. feel you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Mike loves a good clean shave. When was the last time you shaved? Mike. When was the last time you shaved? He doesn't know. Can't even remember. All right. Sunday for me. All right. Good talk. All right. We got, we got uh, Brad saying Celtics can't get a win. Dante, what happened last night in the Celtics game? Who said that? Brad. Brad. Brad, buddy. Hey, we got, it's Brad Master. Is it Brad Stevens? Brad, buddy. You're right. We can't get a win. We suck. The Celtics suck. I mean, Yo, no. Brad Stevens, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Brad Stevens could go fuck himself. Uh, 
Danny Age can go fuck it. I don't know. Is Brad Stevens getting fired after this season? I, if you know what? I think he could. If there are available options, I can definitely see it. I will, I'm will. i going to say no right now because there aren't anybody How about the big ticket for GM? <laughs> Nick, we've had this conversation a handful of times. No, wait. wait. I'm telling you. I'm more work. than welcome. I'm more. Listen, I'll have my arms Good work. open. My buddy is here. We'll welcome KG in the Boston. Hey, KG. Hey, KG. Come to Boston, huh? Make some moves for I us. I got a gem for you. It's uncut. I would love it. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Yeah, that's my favorite quote from the yeah. movie. Hey, KG. I have, KG, a, gem I have a gem for you. It's uncut. <laughs> Whoa. He said it. He, he said, said it. Title. He said it. Um, no, I mean the Celtics suck. They play the Knicks tonight. Uh, if they lose to them. So be it. I don't. I don't have. I don't know what to expect from the team anymore. Yeah. I, I don't go in expecting to win or lose. I'm just watching the game. I turned it off uh, in the third quarter. They went down by 20, and I, I went to bed. It's simple as that. Yep. That's what my life is now. So, it's so depressing. And I went to bed. <laughs> All right, we got Miguel says he went to the Rangers game last night. Saw the beautiful new stadium. Coronavirus. Hope you don't get Corona. Coronavirus. Um, have you guys seen like any video from the Rangers Stadium? I got yeah. to, got to yeah, watch it was a lot. Uh, packed. Ridiculous. I, I mean, all the power to them. I mean, I don't care. I'm I not think, there, but like. I don't fuck. know if last night they were doing full attendance again. They said they were doing it for the first game. I don't know if they said the second game, and they're doing half capacity afterwards. That still doesn't make any sense to me. Hey, you know like, what? Why? Logic be damned. <laughs> Let's just talk about the stadium. I've only seen the stadium in video, like the stadium, the, 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 Will's, the new Will's stadium. Will's been to the new stadium. Oh, he's been to the new one? It just so, opened. like, before the pandemic, we they did, like, a function down there. And oh, yeah? Like, it was, like, getting built and shit, and he, he's seen it, yeah. Oh, cool. damn. That's cool. To me, it looks terrible. <laughs> it looks like it, it looks cold. What it is it looks called? Globe Life Stadium? Globe Life Stadium. Yeah. Globe Life Stadium. Field. Field. Yeah. by Global? Global. Um, that was, that was the parent yeah. company for the insurance that I saw. But, um... Yeah, I, I, I think it looks cold. I think it looks – I mean, first of all, it's huge. It's like the stadium is, like, so high up. The outside looks like a, like a, a farm, like not a good way. So <laughs> not a good way. farm. Not not, a good it way. looks like a farm, but not the good one. Like, like, not like a cutesy, like, oh, it's like a barn. It looks like a fucking, like, factory farm. Gotcha. Like, okay. it has, like, a tin roof and, like, shit like that. Gross, dirty. And then it's just – it's not gross and dirty. It just looks very cold and calculating and very, like – it just looks like a terrible place to watch a baseball game. I don't know. I gotta go to test it out. Fair enough. But I'm not a fan. It looks like a worse version of Chase Field. Worse version. Hey, you gotta see it for yourself. Yep. All right. Nice. Then we got uh, we got tagged. Or did you see this about uh, Angel Gonzalez tagged us in an Instagram post yesterday about how the Patriot scouts favored Debo Samuel and AJ Brown in the draft, but yes, Belichick. Yes, Belichick overrid it. And Belichick yep. chose Harry. What do you yeah. think about that? That doesn't surprise me. No. That doesn't surprise me. Do you think Belichick's have an issue with uh, scouting wide receivers? Receivers? I, I would say receivers more than any other position. I'll tell you one thing, we would have been in a lot better position if we had A.J. Brown yeah. or Brian Samuel, I can tell you that. They're not wrong. Yeah, yeah, or I'm Metcalf. Wrong. Or Metcalf. Or Fucking Terry McLaren. Enough. Next topic. <laughs> Next topic. No more <laughs> lamenting. To the topic. No That's more lamenting about Boston sports. I hate Nikita. All right, here's a, here's a good question. If you were given 100 times the score on Anthony Davis, how many think? How many times do you think you could score? You have a hundred opportunities to score on Anthony. To Davis. score on Anthony Davis. Uh, I mean, you're, right. not, you're not getting under the rim on that guy. No. Let's just, all just, right, you, let's you just, gotta make a three. You gotta make a shot. <laughs> let's just put the, Let's just put it all out there. Anthony Davis is like six ten. I'm five nine. Um, his wingspan is probably longer than my entire body. I don't. I'm gonna go uh, zero, and I say that very confidently. I think the only way Barry, that I score points. You shoot point, over him. You shoot over him. Ha- there's no. I can't. Have you ever seen? Have you ever seen uh, Trainwreck? With uh, um, Bill uh, Hader. Yeah, yes. And, yeah, yeah. And LeBron. Right. And LeBron. Yeah, 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 yeah. So there's a scene in Trainwreck where they're playing one on one. Yes. And yeah, Bill yeah, Hader yeah, yeah. is getting yeah. absolutely like wrecked by LeBron, yeah. obviously. And then Bill Hader's talking with LeBron, and they get off topic, and oh, LeBron gets distracted, you know, and then he shoots and makes a shot. And yeah, he's I like, hey, I finished. I scored on LeBron James. I'm telling you know everyone. What? I take that back. I'm going to go once because I feel like I'll talk to him. I'll get him exactly, to laugh or exactly. something like that. I'll throw you got to lull him, him to a sense of security. Just throw it right at the unibrow. Exactly. Just, that's it. Yeah, are there no fouls or nothing. I'll chuck the ball at his head and just go right by him. you got to lull him in to secure, uh, self, say, uh, a sense of security make and then just him. make it. That's yeah. the only chance. All right, I'll, do, I'll give myself one. I'll give myself one. All right, we got, we got uh, pick your slugger. Ooh, pick your slugger. Did a little bit different than start bench cut. Okay. Ken Griffey, Albert Poulos, or Barry Bonds? Oh, Barry Bonds. Oh, yeah, you got to go Barry Bonds. Bonds. Yeah, you got to go Barry Bonds. Yeah. yeah I mean, not, not, even wasn't even mm-hmm. not even a question. Not even a question. Appreciate and the then, comment. 
We got a uh, Parker who stays in school right now. Stay in school, stay Parker. Stay in school, kid. Stay in school, but keep listening to us. Yeah, yep. stay in school though. Um, let's see. And we got requests for uh, Gardner to be in the pit. Gardner, 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 Get in between both of them. Get between them. You'll be in here next week, right? The viewers have asked for the nut. There's the nut. There's the nut. Nut cam. Do you prefer being called Gardner or nut? Nut all day, every day. Yeah. Me too. That's a dope nickname. Nothing but a good nut, you know what I mean? Nice. You were talking when you pointed the microphone to him. How do you guys watch this guy? <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Nothing but, nothing but a good all right, and then we got a viewer submitted a riddle, and that's all. We'll wrap it up today. Okay. Sound right. good? Riddle Sound it good? up. Riddle it up. The riddle of the day is from Caleb. He says, "I can't be bought, but I can be stolen with a glance. I'm worthless to one, but priceless to two. What am I?" Love. Uh, no way! Did you? I, I was oh, really just about to say that. I was going to say that. I swear to God I was about to say that. Wow, too. all right. Wow, that was a quick one. That's crazy. Uh, I'm giving that to myself. I was going to say heart, but I had heart and love. And then I was, oh, man. Oh, there we that's go. huge. That's huge. huge. That might have been the fastest wow. one yet. That was, that was easily, easily. Mike, have you heard that one before? Damn. Big riddle guy. Big riddle oh, guy. Man. All right. Yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> 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 These two men be... <laughs> yeah. uh, no These two have had beef Mike, all week. Mike, These two sides hate each other. Mike, 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 that would be sick if we did like the sumo wrestling. Oh, we read those like inflatable sumo suits. <laughs> yeah, when I was oh, oh, office, office game yeah, sumo wrestling. We had that in high school for one for uh, an event that we had. It was hilarious. Right, I'll, p I'll put Kev on it. Yep. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Outro. Outro. Right. Let's hit it. Thank you guys for joining us and in the pit today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Again, make sure you turn on your notifications so you get all of our videos when they come out. Make sure you put in those comments, like Johnny said. We do get back to you on the comments. So make sure you put them in. And then uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Turn your notifications on. Have a great day. Catch you guys tomorrow. Catch you on the see you later. Catch you on the see you later. That's another one.